Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Martina Könighofer. I'm working for Moving Cultures, which is part of the VIDC, the Vienna Institute for International Dialogue and Cooperation. And I was kindly invited by the organizers of this event uh, to give a few insights into our work and to introduce you to the um, to cultural exchange as a means and a tool for development as practiced by Moving Cultures. One of Moving Cultures' core tasks is to initiate and foster cultural exchange programs between varied artists from um, and members of the civil societies in Africa, Asia, and Latin America with artists um, here in Austria and also students and the society in large. As we are working with a number of artists with migratory backgrounds who live here in Austria, we've been able to add a, an, an extra dimension to these artistic exchanges, which I will introduce uh, in, in this example. Um, if we understand development as the attainment of a greater ability and capacity to make decisions and to put them into practice, uh, intercultural exchange projects um, are always a means uh, to enable reciprocal inspiration, renewal, and enrichment from which each and every individual involved in such discursive progress, uh, processes can benefit. Um, as I was asked to present a practice-oriented view, I would like to introduce you to a very recent project that we've um, implemented in cooperation with UNESCO and Linz 09, the cultural European capital, uh, in order to illustrate some of the great chances, beautiful moments, but also some of the difficulties that are inherent to such complex artistic exchange projects. Um, I just got back from Linz last week, where we had a group um, of um, arts educators from West Africa, Austria, France, Germany, uh, Slovenia, and Hungary, um, who were involved in a project called Linz 09 Dakar 10. This is not a classic exchange project between two artists from two different countries, but rather a very complex and multifaceted one. Um, in this project, which is intended to serve as a best practice and um, pilot project for the roadmap of arts education as formulated by UNESCO, there were arts educators from various uh, countries, um, as well as their pupils who came to Austria. So each teacher was accompanied by one student, and uh, those teacher-student tandems uh, worked together in three different workshops, um, with artists currently residing in Austria. One of them was Maran Young, an artist that Moving Cultures has been working with quite a lot before. And he's a visual artist with Senegalese roots. Then there was Bella Wollen from Bulgaria and the upper Austrian artist Reinhold Rebhandl. Uh, Maran Young, who you can see here in the picture, is an artist who currently lives and works in Austria, Switzerland, and France. And He's originally from Senegal and was also involved in the Dakar Biennale of 2006 there. Um, he studied at Kunst Union Linz and at the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna. And his involvement in the project offers the aspect that I've mentioned before, namely the benefits of having insights from various viewpoints from West Africa, from Europe, but also from the diaspora. Um, in his workshop, um, which was called The First Skin, and um, the participants um, learned from each other through a kind of visiting performance, and um, issues such as migration, um, receiving guests, and such were discussed. The second workshop was held by Reinhold Rebhandl, um, and this workshop was very interesting. There, the students and pupils um, and artists painted tents, and they used. I think we can see it in the next picture. Um, the core idea of this workshop was to experiment with different levels of communication. So, on those tents, the the pupils and teachers uh, painted in different colors. They used symbols. Uh, they wrote lyrics from their own cultural backgrounds on the tents. And so this was called the second skin, this workshop. So, and um, 
then we had the third workshop, which was very interesting for me. I, I participated in this workshop, and it was very fascinating what went on there. Um, we had the body painting world champion, uh, Bella Wolan. She's from Bulgaria. and. Um, she worked, she's, she's currently uh, an artist in residence here in Austria, I think with Kulturkontakt. And uh, first she offered insights into the world history of body painting, and then the participants had the chance to explore with the medium themselves. And this was a very active, very tactile workshop, also breaking up like psychological <coughs> barriers, you know, like 16-year-old uh, kids doing body painting on each other. This was a real icebreaker. It was very interesting to see what, what happened there. And then, so uh, as Dr. Briggs said, there, there are some benefits from such uh, intercultural exchange projects that we have to believe in, otherwise we, we wouldn't be able to, to do our everyday work. But I think that apart from the individual creative and inspirational gains that each person involved um, in such projects can, may have, cultural alliances that often derive from these kind of projects can serve as a means of empowerment of marginalized people. Cultural dialogue can also be inter interpreted as playing a crucial role in peacekeeping as it can be a very useful means in order to discourage prejudice. Um, cultural exchange can contribute to mutual understanding and respect, but it can also be a platform to discuss uh, controversial viewpoints. <coughs> 